What's going on guys? Happy CSP week. Today is day number three. It is 2.15 in the morning and I wanted to give you a little education and talk about soil testing and cleaning verification and what it should look like on the field. Unfortunately, this video is from home, so bear with me, guys. So, again, I stated before in one of my videos that soil testing is when you're inspecting your instruments on the assembly side. You're going through your inspection. You're using your lighted magnification, right? And you come across a spot, and you're just quite not sure. You're quite not sure what it is. Okay? You don't know if it's soil is it rust is it staining so you go ahead and you grab whatever soil testing uh, marker you have right um, now these are already used up so I apologize I'm not gonna be able to show you but I can show you the motion so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your um, soil tester right and you're gonna swab the area and general area of the instrument um, that you see that has the visible soil. You're gonna place your soil tester back in its vessel. You're gonna, this one is you, you activate it by cracking it, you squeeze the medium down, you give it a little shake, and in about five seconds, you should have a result. That's soil testing, when you visibly see a soil and you're not sure what you're looking at. Cleaning verification is, again, in my opinion, done during the assembly process. You do your general inspection and everything looks very clean. Everything passes inspection. Everything is generally clean. But you want to go ahead and grab a cleaning verification tool. And depending on which tool you use, again, this is a specific marker for a specific type of soil. Um, you want to go ahead, and this is what, what your policies and procedures come in. What are you actually testing for? But when you're doing your cleaning verification, what that should look like is you should be pairing your instruments off into, um, I guess, types, right? So here I have two types of uh, scissors. I have three types of forceps. And I have a general, about five different clamps, right? So when you do soil testing, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab your soil tester. And this one already I did, and you see it has a little residual blue on there. So there was some protein somewhere on here. But what you want to do is you want to generally take your, and again, wear gloves when you do your soil testing, your, your um, cleaning verification. You want to go ahead and swab your instruments on the most used portion of your instrument. And you want to grab one of each or two of each, depending on the size of the tray, representative of each instrument you have. So that's a scissor. You want to go ahead and grab a forcep. Of course, do the jaws because that's the most used. Use where the doctor touches it at, right? And get down in that crevice, right? Because those are hard to reach areas to clean. I'm gonna get down there, okay? Then for your um, your clamps, you wanna go ahead and hit that jaw, that box lock on both sides. You wanna go ahead and get down to the shaft, around the rings, and you wanna get that ratchet, right? And if you have several clamps, you might wanna do a couple different ones, right? Okay, get that jaw, that box lock, get around the shaft, the ring, the ratchet, right? And then don't forget your stringer, right? Cleaning verification is for everything. And if I have a basket, you want to you want to swab the basket as well because you're doing a cleaning verification. I'll explain why in a second. You want to go ahead and grab your stringer, okay? Because you have to clean this as well, right? This has to go through the cleaning process, okay? Again, you see I'm not swabbing where I'm touching with bare hands. And again, I should be wearing scissors. I mean, I should be wearing gloves, not scissors. I'm not Edward scissor hands. Gloves, right? You're going to go ahead and take your... Um, cleaning verification tool place it in its holder and again this one's already been activated so unfortunately I can't show you one that's unactivated okay and then you're gonna read the results you're either gonna get a positive result and again always look at the fluid and always look at the swab to see what you're see what to see if you're missing anything 
So why am I doing so many instruments? Okay, it's time consuming, it is. But again, you wanna verify that the set is clean. So one instrument is not a representative of the whole tray. You wanna get several components of the tray, of the instruments in the tray because you want a broad idea of what's going on. Plus, if you're doing it right, if you're following the processes and the standards, if you find one dirty instrument in a set, the whole set is considered contaminated and should be reprocessed. So, swabbing several instruments within a set is a true cleaning verification test. All right, guys, what do you think? Do you think that this is something that is possible in your facility? Is it worth it? Um, or do you just want to use it as a soil testing and verify, okay, what am I looking at? Is this a is this rust? Is this a stain? Or is this bio burden? Um, all right, guys. As always, stay true to yourselves, keep it 100, continue educating yourself. Until next time, peace and happy CSP week.